I want to start off this morning with a news alert out of Pasco County. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating a deadly shooting by a Pasco County deputy. Now it happened near the intersection of Highway 19 and State Road 52 in Newport Ritchie. 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Rogers joins us from there now. And Chris, what led up to the deputy pulling his gun this morning? Angelina, good morning to you. Yeah, we have got limited details so far. What we do know is the man, the suspect in this case, does have an extensive history with law enforcement. Police tell us he's been arrested at least 42 times previously and is a documented gang member. Let's take a look right now at the scene here at Roadway Inn and get you up to speed on what we know so far. Around 1245 this morning, police responded after getting a call about a suspicious car. We're told almost immediately after the traffic stop, the man aggressively confronted the deputy, dislodging his body camera and then started to run away. He then circled back, hopped into the car and tried to drive off as the deputy clung to the car and the driver. That's when police say the driver, quote, rapidly accelerated, ignoring commands to stop. The deputy was so close uh, as the the suspect got into the car that he was clinging on to the suspect, clinging on to the car, still fighting him, attempting to detain him. When the suspect rapidly accelerated and uh, dragging the deputy with him for a distance of approximately 150 feet. Now, the deputy in this case, whose name has not yet been released due to Marcy's law, was not significantly injured. And deputies say that is a fortunate situation. The officer fired three shots at the suspect. They then attempted life-saving measures, but eventually he did die from his injuries. We will continue to monitor the situation here on the ground in Pasco County. For now, reporting live, Chris Rogers, 10 Tampa Bay.